Right, hello YouTube. Welcome back to some more From the Depths. Uh, a little bit of a short episode today. I'm a little tight of a time today. Uh, before we started, I wanted to explain the title, assuming I remember to call it the right thing. Uh, so yes, today has been a bit of an interesting day on my end, to say the least. Oh, there might be a fight going on there in a minute. Sifter should probably not try and fight that. You can leave. Um, but yes, yeah, so today I had a very near miss. Uh from actually dying and it's not really even exaggerating that much i genuinely could potentially have died you, you very nearly didn't get another episode what actually happened was uh so to give you a bit of thing we're in i'm in britain south coast it's been incredibly hot for a, a while now much hotter than it normally gets done here and very dry and today for the first time in quite a while about a month and a bit uh we got some heavy rain like, excellent, finally, we haven't had any rain for ages. Having a little look out in the conservatory, we've got this old sort of conservatory at the back, we're uh, planning to replace it sometime soon, but we've still got it. And all of a sudden, it's getting heavier, hearing like sort of rattling, which I assume is like hailstones or something. There is a bang, and a pane of glass from the ceiling drops on my head and smashes off of it. Um... Now, the reason this is a nearly died and not actually did die, thankfully, was because it was safety glass, as it turned out. So it smashed and fragmented into loads of pieces, but it didn't, like, shatter into really sharp shards. Uh, I did get some light cuts and things. I got a few cuts on my arm, one on my back kind of thing. Nothing really bad at all, no hospital-worthy ones, but yeah, a very near miss. It could outright have killed me, that one. Um, oh dear, I think this stuff is going to be fine anyway. Speaking of dying. Well, you might as well give it a try. Uh, but yeah, so that was an interesting morning. Um, sort of bouncy back from that a bit, but... So yes, that was that was something that nearly happened today. That was kind of interesting. But I got away with it. Like I said, not too badly hurt. We're back onto a normal day at this point. Now, can a sifter take on these things? I'll tell you what, good try on the missiles part. They didn't do too badly on that. They're still chasing. Oh, one of them's crashed. Hello? Not that. Target that one. No, target the target the one in the water. Engaging now. Yeah, target the easy to hit one. One of the Falcons has made the mistake of crashing while trying to evade. Even if it could only take out half the squadron, that's still a start. Hey, one's down. Is the Sifter actually going to win this fight? It doesn't seem to be reporting any real damage. Lost a detection system. Where is the other Falcon? Moving so fast, I literally can't see it, apparently. Don't know what these guns are set up with. I don't think they're timed around, so they might struggle to hit it a bit, but... It is doing gut attack runs, so it might... Yeah, it might catch one out with it runs at us, but... Oop. Game crashed. Good start to the recording. We'll be back in a moment. Alright, hello again, and we're loading back in where we uh, originally loaded up. I'll leave the bit in. It, it's a pain having to edit it together, but I'll leave it in. That story still, obviously, still happened. Still a bit of a near miss in my case. We've had... It's not even the first glass-related injury we've had somewhat recently we had um even related to that conservatory we had a um the door actually into that particular room um shattered at one point when my brother wandered into it and he hurt his leg quite badly <coughs> it's a bit cursed it's probably a good thing we are replacing it soon right let's try that fight again it's a real shame that we lost it actually because that was a good start one of them crashed and got knocked out almost straight away that was a really good f start to that fight i don't think we're going to get another opportunity like that in fact, that looks like they just knocked us out straight away there, which kind of sucks. Turned what could have been a win to, I think, a loss, but we'll see how we do. Too fast for the Sifters missiles, of course, but... As they try and head on it. Yeah, maybe turn the other way so you actually fit the guns towards target and you can actually hit it. Yeah, I thought we'd probably lose the Sifter here, but that's a real shame that after a... A lucky win. We basically lost it. <clears throat> I 
Here go, Missile Chase. You can get him. Let's get distracted by the flare. No, it's on target. Oh, good try. It's a miss, but... Yeah, they're firing EMPs at the sifter. Well, gun's back already, though. It's regenerating quickly. Apparently. Fire everything? Oh. We don't have a huge amount of commodities, so we can't waste too many, but I would like it to at least be able to fire at secondaries. I quickly refit the missiles to be chasers. Addiction guidance. They kind of already are set up for agility, really. I think that's just they're just not going to be that agile. These things are just too fast, I think. I was gonna say I'm surprised the secondaries are not firing much. Oh, we're getting targeted by our own missiles now. We are. Oh, boy. Hmm, great. That's fine. We'll end the battle there. I don't think we're going to win that one. That sucks. We had that. First time, and then we lost it to the game. Basically freaking out. Uh, that sift, that construction sift is getting a bit close. You might want to pull back. Receiving. Moving now. Listening. Moving out. Yeah, you can replace... You can repair the surface fleet from there. Listening. It's got anywhere near enough resources to do it, but a hatchet would be repairable, though. If we turn to try and fix that, moving out. Oh shoot! Yeah, you need to keep following the megalodon. We don't want to lose it. We don't want to get close enough to aggro it, but we don't want to lose it either. Listening, moving out, receiving, moving now. Let's keep taking territory down here as well. Where are those cargo ships of ours? They're still around here somewhere, aren't they? Did we send them back to the refinery. Where did we send them? We definitely had like a couple of uh, flying cargo ships, right? I'm not remembering that one wrong. God, we could do with a fleet managing menu, couldn't we? Glitchy balloon, that's still there. It's a jacked up repair awesomeness there. Oh, actually, you probably ought to be. Oh, pause. You probably ought to be working on a refinery, didn't you? Fine, that's gonna work away. Listening. Moving out. Receiving. Moving now. Okay. Listening. The truck Moving is out. getting getting close enough to survey for it. Track it. Oh, is it returning to 611. Where's 611? Moving out. Moving out. Scarys have got to be a bit careful with those falcons around, but... I think it's merged with that blob. I have no idea where it is now. Turn down, Spectre, Saber, Saber, Cat Shark. I don't know. I don't know. Moving out. Wolin. Don't even know what Wolin is. Receiving. Flagship is still approaching. We may end up having to break off from. Out. I think it's docked up at the um the dock there, so we'll we'll break off, ready to rendezvous with the flagship and counter their attack. Lifting. Oh, the Megalodon's there. Okay. Oh, the Dragoons have uh, intercepted the Craftsman. One of the Lance is in very bad condition, apparently. So what's happened there? Is it going to die as soon as the battle starts? That'll be the one that's completely destroyed. <clears throat> yeah, one of them's sitting in the water. It's not even remotely close to being repaired. Bet the others can still fight. Yeah, but they're already shooting a transport helicopter. Not sure why it was coming here. Oh, mind you, we, did we take their base from here? 
Maybe they didn't uh maybe they didn't get updated to um be told that this area isn't friendly territory anymore. So come on guys, you can hit it. It deletes the cockpit with an energy shot. I like how they've done the counter rotated props though. Or no it isn't, it's just like offset some of them. That's interesting. I wonder if that's deco or something else. slowed down our capturing, but they have had to sacrifice a transport for that. I have a horrible feeling we're not just going to be fighting the Megalodon. I have a feeling we're going to be fighting the Megalodon with a fleet. Listening, receiving. Listening, listening. Oh. Refinery is not supposed to be with that. You're supposed to be over here. Listening, moving out. Listening, moving out. Moving out, receiving. Receiving. Now. The hatchet. You got, as I say, you've got resource on board, haven't you? Yeah, some, not many. That might be a very nasty battle approaching us. That <clears throat> don't have a tremendous amount of resources in general at the moment. We've got some, but oh, that one never got up. Uh. Oh, never got upgraded. We were doing that big update run a little while back. This one hasn't been updated to a uh, refinery. The music's getting all dramatic about it. Right, base retrofit, boy. Let's get that built quickly and then do the retrofit. Uh, retrofit into a refinery, please. It's still lovely to watch. Getting upgraded. There we go. It's done. Right. What have we got here? Sabre, Spectre, Annularis, and then the Megalodon at the back. And potentially this Craftsman that I think is about to get caught up in the fighting as well. So the hatchet's being rebuilt. Do you have the resource left to do it? We could potentially try and bring it in, but I don't think it's going to be there. Have the fight. We'll give it some, but we need to save a bit because it's going to need to... Um... We might have to resupply these guys mid-fight. Flagship is here. Let's begin that fight. Oh, actually, let's save the campaign first. This is going to be a big battle. We don't want it crashing again. Yeah, we're 100% bringing the flagship in. Flagship's going to spawn first, I think. Yeah, that's the right order. Okay. Oh, this is going to be nasty. In one way or another. Oh, the Skyra should not be spawning that close. Whoops. I am assuming... Going to be just the flagship on our side at the moment. Yes. Oh, is it just the flagship and the Megalodon? Hang on. Are we actually getting that versus match? Oh, I think we're getting that versus match. I think it spawned the Megalodon. It has. Oh, here we go. Here it goes for real. <clears throat> the real deal. <clears throat> now, in this particular case... So our flagship starts to take damage, it will, um, or friendly ships will get spawned. Are we moving? Are we not moving? That's not a good start. Seawiz is working. I can see their missiles exploding. Are you not moving? And if so, why? why are you moving? No, it's moving. It's moving 60 meters a second. It's just slow. Our torpedoes. Oh, they're getting deleted, but... So I'm going to land a hit. I think we might hit a rudder or two. An engine. Come on. We've got one. One engine deleted. That's going to slow it down. Just for those who have not seen, even though it's taken a bit of a beating already, this is a mighty flagship. <clears throat> Decoys are working. They are distracting its torpedoes. <clears throat> At least temporarily. 
See where's semi working. We are going to take some manual control over it. Turn to the right if you would. Get a full broadside on. How are we doing? Damage is happening, but not very much at the moment. I think our shells are hitting it. It's hard to tell. Uh, particle cannon striking the wood. That's working as intended. Take you on to default behavior now. I don't know that we're going to win this one. It looks like we're taking damage. But. We're hitting them. It's seaweed. It's looking like it's having to work constantly to defend against our incoming attacks. Again, as the battleship goes down, the, the we will have reinforcements. We do have the uh, sky rays. And the torpedo flak is coming in. We're taking damage. <clears throat> What's still functional? Both rear guns, all guns, main turrets. Back is taking a beating. Oh, massive e EMP barrage there. That's not good. I hate EMP as a mechanic. There's not much I can do about it. You want to armor my ship as best I can for it. Decoys are still working, they're making the torpedoes miss, but I have a bad feeling we're losing this one overall at the moment. We did know this fight was going to be a bit of a struggle. Megalodon is just so strong. But we are hurting it. Our flagship is self-repairing at a good rate. At a really good rate, actually. Let's see, torpedoes, they're getting anywhere. And we have out endured fights before. We have had fights where we've started off bad, but we've still been going by the end. And we're definitely securing hits. Torpedoes are starting to hit now, which they weren't earlier. Oh, we've lost the uh, radar mask. Let's try and turn the ship around if we can manually. Come on, why aren't you burnt? Why aren't you guys running? Are you damaged? Oh, shaft damaged. Okay. All guns manually at this thing. No manual overriding. So radar tower is also damaged. I suppose one thing I hadn't really accounted for with the Megalodon. I was thinking about the turrets. Now I realise it. The Megalodon's only got three turrets. So I'm guessing they're large. Oh, I suppose they've got more barrels in each one. That is one thing we have done differently. We have got smaller main guns. In a sense, anyway. Okay, let's just let the guns go back onto automatic for now. Torpedo, oh, torpedo swarm incoming. Okay, that's a good sign. This battle ain't done yet. I suppose the torpedo launch on the far side of the ship is not taking damage. It's yeah, one at the flagship, man. We need to be nearby. We can't let it fight alone. Look at the damage it's taken. It's been cheese wedged. But, interestingly, still running. <clears throat> some of the guns are still running. It's still firing with some accuracy. 
it is tough. It's just, this thing is just so ridiculously tough by comparison. We lost almost 4,000 blocks. We're still running. The Megalodon's only lost about 1,000. Is it just 90% armor? Is that the main difference? 90% armor and the main guns, I guess? It may be. We need another major ship, but I don't know if we've got the resources to build one at this point. But it's not over yet, and we will still have the Sky Rays, even if we lose the battleship. And the Sky Rays did have a reasonable crack at the Megalodon before. And it will start be starting with some damage this time. Not as much as I'd like. What's still running on this ship? Not much. Oh, the bridge is just gone. We've got still firing. The launch is still firing. Excellent. Seawiz is still trying to defend the ship. With some success, by the look of it. The torpedo launch is still firing. Where am I on this thing? Let's quickly slap on a um, fire control computer. And a chair. We'll fire the uh, torpedoes if they're not firing anymore. But they're still firing. <clears throat> Actually, this sort of happened before, didn't it? We descended below the water and turned into a submarine, basically. It's got to hold control down. See what we can do damage-wise, this thing, with what's left. Down one launcher. Oh, we're sinking. Okay. We tried. This thing is just so tough. It's starting to dip below the waves a little bit, though. We've definitely hold it. I mean, it's a shame sinking isn't uh, is it simulated that great. We've got more hits. See how many missiles we can get off on it. I don't suppose we could damage it under the water, can we, by any chance? Oh, we can. Yeah. Oh, our shots are actually getting through now. Oh, come in. Come on, torpedoes. Yeah, they're starting to take damage from the torpedoes now. Might be a bit late, given the rest of the ship is sinking, but... I will take, we are doing some damage. Maybe we should have made this thing a submarine. Like a gigantic submarine with uh, super cavitation railguns. Could be interesting. We could do a conversion. I imagine it'd be too difficult. the AI a bit. Is that a missile or is that a seagull? That's a seagull flying. That is a seagull straight up flying under the water. Look at this madman go. Is that a sign? I d if it is, I don't know what it, what it is a sign of, but maybe it's a sign. Have we still got torpedo launchers? I have no idea. Practically upside down at this point. Anything's left, keep firing it. Something is left. Something is still firing. I have a feeling I'll torpedo launch her offline now, so I don't think we're going to hurt this thing anymore. We've done 1,500 blocks of damage to this thing. Which is effectively nothing in terms of actually killing it, but... It might be in terms of weakening it, and that might be enough, because a lot of its weaponry is down by the looks of it. I haven't seen any missiles for a little while, but that could be because it's below the surface. And it looks like the particle cannons all down one side are gone, and one of the ones on the other side as well. Yeah, there we go. Oh, rip battleship. We spent so long trying to build something that could fight this thing, and it's still not there. But we have weakened it. If we can take the Megalodon out... The rest of our forces stand a chance, especially if we could build a second mothership, because that was shredding the other Steel Striders' forces. It's this thing that is our big problem. Our new nemesis. I used to like this good old uh, Excalibur. 
Ooh, Skyro taking a big blow right off the back, but... I hope it's okay, because it needs to live long enough for the other two to load in. It's going to get shredded before it gets a chance. Alright, come on. Come on, you're tough, Skyro. You can do this. Oh no, we've lost that already. That's not good, they're not meant to operate on their own. <laughs> Decoys, please work. Okay, they may be working? I'm not even sure. I have a bad feeling the Sky Rays are going to get deployed one at a time and they're going to lose this thing before they can do anything. They're meant to operate in groups. Oh, yeah, there goes the tail fin. Oh, come on, game. Oh, where's the third Skyray? Well, you need it immediately. Oh, don't tell me they're too big. Oh, it might be the volume limit. They might only be able to come up against this thing one at a time. You're fat. <laughs> You're fat, Megalodon. You're so fat I can't spawn the other vehicles. Oh, no. There's another ship over there as well. Was that the... Oh, it's the it's the thing. It hasn't gone down yet. Now, let's... Let's just fall out on this battle. Spawn in the last one. Go on. Hopefully this will work without lagging too badly. Let's at least wrap it up quickly. Okay, it's lagging a bit. I may need to set that down for future fights. Back to... 100,000. Oh my god, it's a full-on carrier. Oh no, not that thing. Oh, I remember that. You want to see a powerful particle cannon? This thing. Actually, is it this thing? No, this is not. This is just a carrier. Oh, okay. Engaging Target the now. fighters, maybe. Sure, we're gonna lose this one. Uh, although, not that their fighters aren't coming apart a bit, which is nice. These little hake fighters. Try and take a few of them out. Shot a wing out. Listening. The lone Sky Ray still fighting. Come on, you can hit him. If you can't, I will. That should be center mass. Come on, hit it. There we go. So as much damage as we can, and that's probably going to be to aircraft. Mind you, you say, is the Megadon still here? It is still here. I say, I haven't seen it for a little bit. Alright, just go. Go on, AI. We'll see what you can do. Not sure quite what we do about El Megalodon, though. Our biggest battleship couldn't do anything. It did something, but... I thought it might do a bit better than that, given the last test. Maybe ramming it. Maybe ramming it's the way to go. It did do okay with that lucky ram in the uh, testing. The damage that thing does is just insane. Whatever our next battleship is, it might be best to go for less turrets, but more powerful. But anyway, I thought the railguns we'd made were okay. They're just not... Up to whatever that thing's equivalent of scratch is, I guess. The lasers don't seem to be firing anymore. I don't know what's going on there, really, but... Yes, ours are still going. Not sure what at, but something.
Might be the Meg. Whoa! What? Oh! What? Damage in every... Is it going to die? Is it going to be killed by straying too far into my zone with damage? That is not what I intended to do to kill it, but... It just died. That is a uh, one way to win, I suppose. Maybe we mine the waters or something. That's the only thing I can think of. The one Skyray comes out victorious on its second attempt against this force, admittedly, but we're probably still going to lose that battle overall, but hey. Well, I don't think that's why I intended to beat the Meg, but it's within the game's mechanics, so we still get it. I have no idea how, but again, I assume we've mined the waters like crazy or something. Also, it appears to be being shot by its own missiles, which is probably not helping its case. Yeah, let's get a proper look at this thing's armor now it's falling apart. If we pause the game, it'll fall apart gradually. Yeah, just a lot of armor inside this thing in general, I think. Especially the below the waterline. Jeez, it's almost solid. The middle core. There's not that much in it internally. I think ours is heavier packed. Well, there's not that much in it. I mean, comparatively, of course. Impulse now, I think. Oh, oh, game didn't like that. Now the Skyrim's back up. Are they doing it? Are they doing their thing? They never die, they just come back online. Yes, defeated by, by the game's ruling, basically, but we take that. I've got two Skyrim's in the air. Not that I can see, I think one's in the water. But it's online, and it's the torpedo one, so it'll be firing. And it might still be getting hits, actually. Game's chugged as it comes apart, but... Oh my god, it's still got one volley left in it. <laughs> Look out, Skyrim. Oh, I don't care, we we finally got it, even if it was a slightly odd rolling as to why, but... Definitely if we do a Season 2, and again, I am thinking I probably will do something like that at some point. We need upgrades on our next big battleship. And by upgrades, I mean probably a complete redesign. No, but uh, we'll take what info we've learned. We will take what info we've learned fighting this thing. Thicker armor. That's one thing we definitely learned immediately. Thicker armor. Use heavy more. Yeah, there's a lot more bits of heavy in that scattered about in this. But I'll give us some credit. It did withstand a lot of fire. Given what was being flung at it. Just couldn't do enough damage in return to, to kill it. The weaponry might be another thing we need to focus on as well. See the Skyra taking damage, but... Lasers are offline. I think it's only the missile launchers left running on this one, but it's still fighting. About the other sky right this one's actually in the air almost come on torpedo version you can do it lift up <clears throat> lift that wing when friendly territory we can add bits Let's just lift an engine and just oh resting drive at max I'll lift her out of the water. <coughs> Come on, take off. <coughs> you can do it. There we go. Nope, nearly. There you go, she's up. I take these off, is it going to fall? No, it's properly flying again. Oh, we lost our other sky right there over there. I think we might have, but... 
Yeah, we'll probably still lose this fight, but... That is a turnaround. It took a lot to do it, like too much, but... Is that the Skyro going down? Yeah. It's not really how I wanted to beat the Megalodon, but it did It did technically count as destroyed. So again, game says we get that win, we get that win. Bet this battle is lost, there's still a lot more of them than us. Oh, no. I'll have to adjust that myself later. I guess we'll follow the torpedoes more than the ship itself at this point. Or oh, let's also maybe jump off before we you know, die. Uh, yes, there are torps in the water. I don't know where they... Oh, there they are. Not if they're going to get any hits, but... Engaging now. Let's fire at that if you've got anything left. No, I think it's going to get knocked out now. It's in the water again. Go on, melee that little one that's stuck in the water. Get him. Or torpedo it. That'd be hilarious. Oh, they've stopped. I think that carrier might be dealing with a... Um, Incoming torpedo run. Give it a moment. Looks have some seaways, judging by that fire, but... Do you still hit it? Have they got the range left? They have! That would have been very bad on a real carrier, and from the depths they've made one hole in it. <laughs> and it's got a lift engine. They've got fully armoured lift engines. Okay. Yeah, I could fully consider that one not cheese then, because they're using it. But no wonder it's so fast, barely any of it's in the water. Use more cheese, Doug. That's what I'm learning. Use more cheese. The devs do it. Well, I ended up as a full length episode. I guess that's fine. I could still walk around that. Go, torpedoes. Hit it. Get it. No, it's got good. It's got good defenses. Oh, well. Well. That was probably about an equal loss, actually. Maybe a little worse for us, but... But... We did destroy the, uh... We did destroy the Megalodon! So I'll consider that a bit of a indirect win. Hopefully you've all enjoyed, and I'll catch you all again next time. Goodbye.